Tanny Cooks here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make some absolutely delicious barbecue chicken legs in your Instant Pot in under 20 minutes. Actually, only 10 minutes cook time, but other time to season, so let's get started. The seasonings we're gonna use include liquid smoke, sage, just because it's not just for turkey, garlic and parsley powder, onion powder, hickory smoked sea salt, there's a link to this in my description box, so you can buy it, as well as poultry seasoning, ground mustard, paprika, black pepper, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, but I don't have a lot of that, so I'm also using some A1 steak sauce. Now, I bought these chicken legs on sale and had them stocked up in my freezer, ate to a bag, so I let them thaw out in the refrigerator, and now I'm washing them with water and white vinegar. I let them soak for a while, and then I drain them and dry them off, and now it's time to season them up. So I'm using the seasonings that I showed you in the beginning of this video. I like liquid smoke because it gives you a nice smoky flavor that you wouldn't get since we're not barbecuing this on a charcoal grill for instance but it is absolutely delicious and of course you can bake your chicken legs in the oven but this using an instant pot is just another alternative that I wanted to show you and it's great maybe if your oven is full with other stuff or you have a lot of chicken legs that you want to cook at one time of course if you increase the number of chicken legs so you may need to increase the cook time the best way to know all of your meat is cooked in the end is always to use a meat thermometer Make sure your poultry is cooked to an internal temp of 165 degrees. I'm continuing to add my seasonings. Uh, smoked paprika, black pepper will add to the color. Hickory smoked sea salt adds to the flavor. I'm adding olive oil, which I could have added first, but either way, I'm gonna rub the olive oil and the seasonings together in order to get a nice, beautiful color and flavor on our chicken. Make sure each piece of chicken is evenly coated with your seasoning mixture. It looks delicious and I can tell you it smells even better. Next up is our sauce. You can see the amount of barbecue sauce I have left and I have A1 steak sauce. I like the combination of this flavor. The main thing at this point is just to add half of your sauce now before we cook the chicken and then we're gonna add half of the sauce at the end of the process. So now I'm just making sure my seasoned chicken is tossed in my sauce. So far, it's A1 steak sauce, but I am going to add a little bit of the barbecue sauce just so I can have a little bit of barbecue sauce left afterwards. And give that a gentle toss to make sure each piece is sufficiently massaged. Now what I'm gonna do is slice up an onion, a yellow onion. I go through a three pound bag of yellow onions. It seemed like every few days, onions add so much flavor. And if you feel like you cook food, but it doesn't really get that good, good flavor, maybe you should check into the aromatics you use and if you use enough. So aromatics would be things like onion, garlic, ginger, even celery root can add a lot of flavor to foods. Here, I'm just using the onion. Onion has water in it, so it will release some of its moisture that has the onion flavor. Yes, we use onion powder, but onions add a different element. Here you see me piercing each chicken leg through the meat, not the skin, with my knife. This will help all of my seasonings to get inside to the meat so the flavor is inside the meat and not just on the skin. That's a very important point that I always make sure I follow when I'm making chicken. So I'm going to add some stock to my Instant Pot. This is probably about half a cup. Whenever I cook in my pressure cooker, I always add about a cup of liquid at minimum, a cup or two. So I added some water to my stock container just to fill it up a little bit more. I added my onions near the bottom on top of the trivet, and then I'm adding my barbecue chicken. If you use more chicken, then you will need more liquid, but you wanna be sure in your Instant Pot that you don't go above the fill line that's inside of it. That's the maximum you wanna have any contents inside. So I put my lid on and I turn the lever to sealing, and now it's time to set the Instant Pot on high pressure. Typically, you can cook this in 10 minutes on high pressure, but I'm a little extra. I cook mine at 12 minutes, and look at this. I'm just using my fork to make sure the meat is fall off the bone tender, of course, you could use a meat thermometer instead. I just didn't feel like getting it. And it's not critical for me because I'm actually going to take these drumsticks out of my Instant Pot and put them into my copper metal pan to broil in my oven because I want a little deeper color. So it's absolutely delicious at this point. But what I'm gonna do is add some barbecue sauce on top of my chicken. You'll notice I have chicken, the liquid, as well as the onions in the pan. So look at how it looks with the barbecue sauce. Gorgeous, right? 
I chose to use a metal pan for this because I'm going to boil this for five to seven minutes. If you're using a glass pan, never boil that because it can shatter. In a glass pan, just bake it up to 350 degrees until you get the color you like. For me, broiling took about five to seven minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.